Representative Ilan Omar, a Democrat from Minnesota, stirred controversy again with an anti-Semitic tirade last week, declaring to a packed audience, quote, I want to talk about the political influence in this country that says it is okay to push for allegiance to a foreign country, seemingly referring to Israel. According to the Media Research Center, CBS This Morning devoted 30 seconds of airtime to Omar's comments Monday, while the other two broadcast networks didn't cover it at all. Many in the media have downplayed this incident. ABC News even calling it a, quote, family feud. A different subject, part of a new struggle inside the Democratic Party. She's defending her fellow freshman Ilhan Omar, who had made some comments that were perceived as anti-Israel. Now the leadership in the House is, is trying to pass a resolution taking on anti-Semitism. Yeah, George, this is exposing a, a real family feud, a generational and ideological divide between sort of the old guard. And others in the media seem to be making excuses for the representative. Well, this, she believes this, and she was, she's stepping into a new role. These freshmen, a number of them, are stepping into a new role and don't fully understand all the dynamics. And she certainly uh, stepped right into it by, in, in essence, repeating a, a trope that questions whether you can be um, committed to supporting Israel in, you know, international relations and whether that questions your allegiance to the United States. Liberal New York Times columnist Paul Krugman actually argued that he's not worried about anti-Semitism when it comes from the left and insinuated that only right-wing anti-Semitism is bad. He wrote in a tweet, quote, there are three things in life that are certain, death taxes, unless you're Donald Trump, and persistence of anti-Semitism. But only one brand of anti-Semitism scares me, and it's not on the left. Amazingly, bigotry is now excused as long as you're on the one side of the political spectrum. While the dismaying surge of anti-Semitism in Congress is a worrying sign, it does not represent the American people in general. As a whole, America has been a shining city upon a hill for Jews, a place where all may live according to the dictates of their conscience under just and equal laws. In 1790, George Washington set the tone for his new country when he wrote to a Jewish congregation in Newport, Rhode Island, quote, May the children of the stock of Abraham who dwell in this land continue to merit and enjoy the goodwill of the other inhabitants, while everyone shall sit in safety under his own vine and fig tree, and there shall be none to make him afraid. The words of Washington should stand as a rebuke to those maligning Jews who have contributed greatly to the history of this country and our success today.